today and I'm here today with Willie from Lamb of God to have a bit of a catch up because it's been a while. It has been a while. I think the last time we saw you was on a sphere in August. I think so. So fill us in, what have you been up to? Well, since then, what have we been doing? Um, we did the States again, another headlining run in the States with Guar. Uh, we got back from that and then did Australia early December, which was really nice because it was summer down there. And we came home from that and we've been home for the holidays ever since, so we're just jumping back out after being home for like seven weeks. Nice. So how's yeah. it feel to be back on the road? At first I was reluctant just because it's always kind of bittersweet to leave home and you know, leave everything behind for a good amount of time, but uh, it's starting to set in that you know, it's back on tour. So. Yeah. Because it's a big long run that you've got coming up because when you leave the UK you go into Europe and that's a pretty hefty number of shows you got over there. Yeah, I think it's a total of you know five weeks that we're out. So this is you know just one week in the UK. Uh, and then we got four throughout Europe, so we'll see. So what what is it that you like the most about touring in the UK and Europe? Is there anything in particular that you really enjoy being all the way over here? <laughs> the expensive phone bills, the, uh, no, I mean, the fans probably, for the most part, the fans are definitely uh, extremely passionate about the bands they like and the music they listen to over here. Um, so that is definitely, by far, the best thing about being over here. Are there any like key cities, like when you when you head now, that are kind of like, oh man, we're playing there tomorrow, it's going to be amazing, it always is. Uh, here, uh, London, I mean, we've been looking forward, this is the biggest show of the tour, you know, and uh, I wish it was happening later on in the tour so we could, you know, be well versed in our show at that point, but uh, London's always a big one. Um, Paris is, is alright, it's getting better, but... <laughs> London's definitely the big one. Cool. So it's been about a year since you released Laugh. Yeah, I guess so. Sort of, as, you, as you look back over the album cycle so far and, and sort of compare it to, to your other album cycles and stuff, has it been overall a really positive thing for you guys? Have there been any really key moments where you've been like, yeah, man, this has really stepped us up, this album? Uh, just the album in, in it of itself. You know, we were real proud of that record, and we still are. Um, I mean, it's the usual touring, you know, once you put out a record, you're just on the road forever. Um, but just the satisfaction, you know, I have in knowing that we put out a great record and, you know, we're all behind it. And now we're just kind of, you know, letting our little baby run. <laughs> so which do you prefer? Do you, do you like kind of sitting down and, and thinking of, new songs and new riffs and new arrangements and, and getting in the studio and laying them down and see how they fit? Or do you prefer the actually having done all that going out and seeing how people react? Or is it just kind of an, an even? I mean, both sides have their ups and downs. Uh, I think I would prefer writing and being in the studio. Um, only because it doesn't necessarily take me away from home. You know, I can have the best of both worlds between music and family. But, uh, you know, as far as playing shows, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. I'm you know, just seeing the crowd response. And, um, but that's, what, an hour, 20 minutes out of the day. So you're pretty much downtime for the majority of the day, and you know, there's really not a whole lot to do. Or you get nabbed to death by people like me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>